Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you the latest improvement to ephemeral workspaces in HCP Terraform. Now as a quick refresher, ephemeral workspaces lets you set auto-destroy settings on a workspace, so you can automatically clean up temporary resources and help reduce your cloud bills. You can check out our previous demo video that is linked in the description for more details about this. But now, you can also do this for an entire project. Projects in HCP Terraform are a container for multiple related workspaces, and also a place to scope things like team access permissions and other functions like policies or variable sets, now also the auto-destroy settings. So if we go into one of our projects here, I'll choose this Web Sandboxes project. If we go to the Project Settings page, you can set the default auto-destruction timeout, which will be inherited by all workspaces in the project. I'll set this development project to auto-destroy resources after seven days of inactivity. And here, inactivity means when the last change to the state file occurs in the workspace. And this will be measured and counted down separately for each workspace in the project. If we look at one of the workspaces in this project now, we'll see that the default auto-destruction setting is now in place coming down from the project level. As a workspace administrator, I can override this default to use a different time frame that maybe works better for my workload, uh, but you'll notice I can't completely disable the auto-destroy at this level. I can only change the timeout. So to learn more about how HCP Terraform can help you control your cloud costs, go check out the documentation and tutorials that we have at developer.hashicorp.com and head on over to hashicorp.com cloud to get started with a free trial. Thanks for watching.